It'll be so much vibes. How are ya? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm tired. <laughs> are you emotionally drained? I am emotionally. Ex- it's 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 like a yeah. yeah. Yeah, I felt like that. I felt like that. Um, on Saturday, I woke up and I was just flat. But it wasn't. I wasn't down. It was just because all of the all of the endorphins were released. On yeah, Friday. I stopped screaming at the top of my lungs like a goose i was like purple in the face jumping up and down like a wiggle yeah (laughs) i know just the intensity is just so high intensity was it's not healthy but it's okay i mean what are you gonna do (laughs) what are you gonna do knock it up and about waited too long waited way too long what did you have you watched the replay yeah, watch the replay. What's, your, um, what's the take after watching the replay? Um, I mean, you couldn't have changed anything. They just – there were a few mistakes across the game, but I feel like it was it was just nerves. Like you could see how much it meant. You could see how much they wanted it. Of course, they're going to make those little fumbles and whatever, And but watching the replay was just like – so much easier when the emotion is out of it and when you know what's you know what the result is you're just like all right you can take it for what it is um and i i think i've learned my lesson if i've learned anything from this season it's to wait and then watch the replay and then make a judgment about anybody or anything yep well i'll tell you what we needed on friday night harry (laughs) why Mate, another marking option. Oh, sorry, know? sorry. I thought you meant Baba. <laughs> no. Harry, yeah, we did. No, actually, it, it, if if there's any like if there's anything to say, then that's true because it just would have helped Charlie so bloody much, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have just been so so good for him. Like he couldn't really do much. He was just stifled. Mm. I felt um, like you said it just then. Like the, the, they're gonna they're gonna get better at dealing with it too. We we actually are not very clean offensively as what we are defensively. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember before the game saying to you, we have to actually be better offensively to win the game. Yeah. yeah. Because our our defense is always going to be strong. Like, it's like a brick wall. We can't get through. And there's there's full faith in that. But when it comes to the forward line like it was it was tough to watch at some points but I I honestly feel that it was just down to nerves and they wanted it so bad you know when you want something so bad that you just make all the wrong choices yeah it, but but at the end of the day like the D's just didn't have a complete focus yeah when it was all said and done, even yeah. when they were up at the end, they were giving away 50 meter penalties. Uh, old mate throws Sam Walsh into the fence, like undisciplined. Yeah. Just these things yeah. started appearing and we didn't get sucked into it at all. They, no, they didn't, didn't, you know, I think maybe early in the first quarter, I think it was uh, Salem mm-hmm. who pushed into Blake Aker's like bad collarbone or, or the bad shoulder and Cripps got pretty fired up. Um, but apart from that, we didn't get too sucked in. Yeah. Cripps came out with an attitude and I loved it. Like he mm-hmm. came out very angry. And big it was dog great. energy. Yeah. Big dog energy. And you're right. Like they, they were getting sucked in. We didn't, we sort of handled it with as much class as possible, which I think was mm. good for us. And that's a lesson learned too, you know, as much as I probably always say I want them to be really aggressive and go out and just fight. You can't be like that. No. You have to you have to have a sense of measure. And I think we did that very, very well in comparison to Melbourne. And you know, it goes down to as well, who knows what, who knows why, but during the week there was a lot of focus on the whole Maynard thing. You know, was there a lot of energy put into that? Or, or is it that like they're actually afraid of us and they couldn't get past that? I don't know. I think they focused way too much on the Maynard thing. Yeah. And it was almost like 
it's almost like they were not looking for an excuse. I don't think that's the right way to say it, but it's almost like they, it, it just, they weren't fully there. And I, I yeah. remember thinking so clearly they weren't fully aligned. The Brody Grundy thing, very strange, very strange. Like he's not playing, he's fit and available, like whatever, it hasn't worked for form, but it's a semifinal. Um, mm. And all these things, I don't know if they add up in the end, but plus, mate, divine intervention. It happened. Yeah. Max Gorn, when he, he when he missed that set shot in the third quarter, I was like, oh, okay, something weird's happening because he always kicks those big moment, big goals. Yeah, well, in, in the last quarter, I think it might have been the last, from like the last nine minutes onwards, they just couldn't, they just couldn't make it happen. They just yeah. kept failing. And it was, you're right, divine intervention maybe, but like they just couldn't make it happen. They couldn't get a goal. Point after point after point. And it was great because that in the end is, I mean, Akers kicked that goal, which which obviously got us over the line, but them missing all of those goals mm -hmm. is what helped us as well. It helped us a lot. Yeah. Oh, what a hate to be on the other end. Like oh, but yeah. And imagine the conversations now if, if that was us, like just Ugh. getting point after point after point, opportunity missed, you know. Oh, Nine, seven, the, awful yeah it's yeah it's pretty horrible and i think gorn afterwards said like that's not finals footy like you can't yeah. you can't do that he said it after the game he's like that's ridiculous like it's embarrassing and it mm. is you can't that, that, there's no way that that's you can't bring that to a semi-final no no we're actually also playing in this magical time where we'll never get this again because it's the first time we're in the finals and it's the first and last time we're going to be like the fairy tale underdog that might yeah. pinch it kind of thing. Yeah. I was thinking about this this morning. I was like, you know, and, and it goes back to life as well. Like when you compare for what's happening with Carlton to life, yeah, it's almost as though you, we really needed to have a solid few years of just terrible times to appreciate a game like this one mm. that just passed us because there was just so much emotion involved with every fan because of how much heartbreak and heartache. We wouldn't have appreciated it if it was easy. If it was an easy run, it's just like, eh. Unfortunately, that's just how people people are. You take things for granted a little bit. But this is just so sweet because it was so sour for so long. Yep. But I feel like you can only you can only feel this way when they do the thing. Yeah, we we knew that the time would come, but it just started getting, it started feeling like it was just never going to get there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But now, like, I, I remember actually I reflected back on a conversation you and I had where I said, um, you, you might remember this too, I said, I can't visualise us at the grand final. Remember how I said that I can't see it, I can't see this team actually yep. there. And now I feel the complete opposite. Like, I can see it now. They're, they've shown us. Mate, it's happening. Carlton I know. <laughs> I don't think Melbourne's ready for that, as in the city itself. Nobody is, but it's happening. Yeah, I think it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, got to get through Brisbane, speaking of. Yes. Off to Bris Vegas. Yeah, good. Great. I Great. mean, essential, essential. Well, Yes. It's a non-negotiable that you're in Brisbane for that. You have to be. Well, I will be there. I will be there cutting sick. <laughs> it's going to be great we'll for you. Gap. We've got a gap in time too. So we're going up Friday. Yeah. And then leaving Sunday evening. Oh, great. Plenty of time just to get there and soak it up. Just go to Bris Vegas for the weekend. Yep. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you foresee it all? happening i don't know i feel like i'm still i feel like i'm I feel like i'm hung over from yeah from the win it's like so much emotion went into celebrating not celebrating but just feeling it and yeah yeah um we can uh, yeah. be we can beat anyone we can beat anyone but it's it's there's no there's no fear of of anyone or anything no nah. 
no, we can definitely beat them. I, I think we will as well. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're going to be in a grand final. That's that's how I see it now. That's how I see it. But I think it's important too, going back to what you're saying about being exhausted, it's important to not to, I think everyone's feeling that way. Even me from afar, I was so just just drained afterwards because it's such yeah. a build-up, such a build-up. I mean, I don't know if it'll be the same after we beat Brisbane. Maybe it'll be even more. So just be mindful of it. Like you, you, you've had a long, it's been a long time and it's been a long year, four years, five years, but like let alone the last, say, 48 to 72 hours, huge. Mm-hmm. Huge. So. Yeah. Just can't help but feel Harry and Jack Martin. We're just too lethal. Once yeah. they figure out the offensive game in finals, it's, it's a wrap. Like right now, we're just, I feel like we're, we're playing well, but we're playing well yeah. off the back of our defense. Once they mm-hmm. get their offensive game sorted and they start being more clean with it under yeah. the pressure of finals, like they can't lose yeah. a final. They don't know how to lose a final. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a good point. I, I um, This might be, I don't know how this is going to go. It might be an unpopular opinion. I don't Just see I don't see a place for Kennedy. You think? I just don't, Terry. I, I couldn't. I feel that there was a very clear, and I, when I watched the replay, I saw it again, and I took the emotion out of it because in the in the game when when I saw him with the ball, I was getting very frustrated. Mm. I just felt like he was very slow in comparison. And then I watched the replay, and I felt the same way, taking out the emotion. And I, I just feel like the rest of them have played in a final the previous week, mm. and he just. There was such a contrast between him and the rest of them. Just a little bit too slow for me. That's how I saw it. A little bit too slow. I don't think I don't think he can do it. I don't know. I just think he's got to go. I don't know. I feel like he took his moment with his goal. I feel like he was definitely underdone. And I get that. But if you look at that last contest, like he creates that um, I think we ended up turning it over anyway, but there was a critical contest maybe like less than a minute to go after we'd kicked after acres had kicked the goal such yeah. a critical contest and i don't know mate in vossi we trust in vossi we trust of course and if he's in the team like of course it's you back the decision but mm. um i just that's that's just my personal opinion no doubt that he had an impact and scored a goal but i just think we can we can do it without him if he had to if you had to choose someone to do it without, I think we could do it without him. So what changes would you make? Uh, I still need to think about it. Harry I think and Jack Martin, I think, have to come in. Oh, of course. That's 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 a no-brainer. Mm. Harry is going to make a huge difference. Mate, Harry's kicking three goals against the Lions. Yeah, what Harry's – and, and if he doesn't, he will create the opportunity for others to do so. So even if he doesn't mm. score any goals, I think I think I learned I learned that from watching the last replay, where I was losing it. You you know what I was saying about Harry in the chat, and I felt bad about it afterwards. I I felt like I was a bit ha- a lot harsh, not yeah. a bit harsh. So I think he he will be huge, and Jack Martin, so important, critical. Oh, Jack so Martin at prelim, fuck. Yeah, he's, what about, he's so tough. What about what about Sauce? Is there a spot for Sauce? I mean, it's a fairy tale. Yeah, come I mean, me. I know. <laughs> no, it's a fairy tale. It's a you you know. Of course, you want him there. You want him. I saw the video of him crying afterwards, and he was just yeah. so happy. But oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I think we'd all be happy. We all want it, but in reality, is that the selection that they're going to make? I don't know. Well, the VFL cooked it. They cooked it. Tell me. What do you mean? They lost by like a hundred and something points against the Gold Coast Suns in maybe the last game of the season, and the percentage bumped them out of finals. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I remember that. So yeah. just to get game time into you know these guys. But whatever. I mean, I don't think that decisions can be made based on emotion. 
Like it has no. to be the right the right selection decision in terms of performance, and I just don't know with with that. Yeah. I mean, it, it would be a great is. story. It'd be a great story. It'd be amazing. We'll all be happy, but it has to be the right decision. I don't know. I, th I found what I found about the two finals. It's it's less about who's quick and more about who's clean. Yeah. You know. Yep. Um, yeah. For like sure. Tough and hard and willful, very important. Yeah. The clean players just stand out so much more. Such a good point. Such mm. a good point. How um how good was McGovern? McGovern, he's in the wars. That guy he just McGovern, kept getting knocked. Yeah. yeah, but he was so good when I watched him back, and I I've been harsh on him too, but I thought he was so brilliant. Mm -hmm. Readering, incredible. Doc, Whoa. Doc, Doc just Doc just does when it, when anyone else would would any other human would quit. Any other person would say, this is too hard. I've given everything. I can't give any more. He just says, I have more to give. Yep. Yep. He's, <laughs> um, his max effort, he seems to be so much more than everyone else's max effort. Yeah, that's that's the better way to put it. <laughs> but he's, he's, uh, he's faced death. You know, what's a game of football with a bung shoulder? The guy's nearly died. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's, he's definitely a hero. Definitely. When he when he did the shoulder, we were sitting kind of right in front of him, but on level two, and I remember him just sitting there, and I'm thinking, "Wow, really, Doc, out for finals? Really? Is that is that what we're going to be get, getting?" Yeah. Um, and then I just assumed Hollands would come on because he started warming up, and that'd be the end of Doc. And then to see him come on and and be a part of that play at the end as well. Oh. Like, mark above his head like so good that's what it's so all about good. that's why and i said divine intervention because it's like we were dead yeah well it, it was it was quite literally the last moment the last opportunity like if they messed it up it was done yep. so it was quite literally the last the last chance and they did it and what was the i mean through the tv it's hard to to gauge but what was the cheer like when Akers kicked that goal oh, wow it eclipsed mm. Juddy's goal in 2013 for me really well, not so much the goal but the final siren that's right. the that is that of that's a lifetime uh that's a core memory as we're saying yeah. down core here. memory core memory I'm telling you <laughs> I thought there was more time on the clock, so I checked my phone. I forgot uh, that the clock keeps going after a behind before you kick it in. Um, so I thought there was like 15 seconds when there was really three seconds left. So when the siren uh, went, there was a bit of a shock. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it just pff, scenes, scenes, shaking, the ultimate. Crazy. And mm. you were with the whole family. The Dagani clan, yeah. Had dad was there, mum, mum wearing her guernsey, she's loving it, mate. She painted the place, navy blue. She was up and about crying at, oh. like in the first quarter. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. That's great. great. Yeah. That's very good. Chris well, into it. I think, yeah, I, think I, I think he's in. Yeah, I, I was gonna ask what what was he like? Because he yeah, yeah. we know we know he loves them, but yeah. I mean, he's part of a different generation too, to us even. Yeah, they've got less of a – less patience. Less uh, patience. Uh, less patience for the bullshit so they just stop watching. <laughs> That's a good point. Not going to tolerate this shit anymore. <laughs> no, they don't tolerate it. Yeah, that, we, we tolerated it. They didn't. Yeah. They didn't get upset. Yeah. They just stopped watching. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad that he's enjoying it. I'm glad to – and that's the other thing. I'm glad to see all the young – supporters who are enjoying it and they're they're watching and some someone mentioned this but it's so nice to be able to see the mums and dads watching their kids yeah. experience what they had experienced in the past it's huge mm -hmm. absolutely it's really good mm -hmm. what else what else have you got for me um i mean here it's a bit difficult because Outward, like outside, there's no sense of a looming 
no. grand final. Like there's, mm. it's all internal. It's all in the household, you know, it's what mm -hmm. we talk about. Um, so trying to engage in as much content from now till next week is probably my focus just yeah. to really feel feel that, that it's coming. Um, during the week, there's not much of a feeling, but then it gets to the, like, night before game day, and that's when I start to get really nervous. Um, so I think, yeah, looking ahead, it'll be focusing on the week ahead, getting to Saturday, and for us it'll be in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, just just see what happens. I think I'm going to try and be a little bit more measured this time. I was a bit of a psycho. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I am. I'm going to try because it was unhealthy. It was so unhealthy. It was like so much of an intense feeling watching that game. I couldn't breathe at one point. It's a bit ridiculous, don't you think? Yep. It's a little bit ridiculous. I couldn't breathe at one point. So I'm going it's to try like to be a little bit. It's like ugly. It's like I was it's ugly. I was it's like disgusting. ugly celebrating, yeah. <laughs> disgusting. I told you when I came to Melbourne, I'm going to be disgusting. And this time around, I just want to be a little bit more measured. Be okay with the outcome. Whatever happens, happens. Obviously, cheer and scream and, and throw yourself into it, but just for the own sanity. Because after the game, I could, like I couldn't move. I was crying for 45 minutes. I couldn't move. It's, like, it's not right. So, yeah. Maybe meditate a little bit before the game. True. Bit of a meditate. sauna ice bath situation before a game. <laughs> Cold plunge. <laughs> and that's it. And then just embrace it. Amazing. Uh, early tip next week. How much? We're going to win. Yeah. We're going to win. We're going to win. I think we're going to. Oh, also, I said Carlton by two points against Melbourne. You did. So you there did. you go. Yep. Um, we're going to win, and I feel that we're going to win. I think it'll be another close one. I think that we're going to win by five points. Great, because I'm seeing eight. Okay, you're in the yep. numbers. I'm Good in the, the numbers. numbers I'm, seeing, I'm seeing Carlton by eight, but like tight game until the yep. very last minute. Actually, that's exactly what I think too. I think it'll be a very tight game the whole way, and then I feel that we'll win by five points. That's <sighs> That's how I see it. Yeah, and it's just it's. I don't think it's actually like once we win because I know we will. Once we win, I don't feel it's going to be as um, damaging as what the last game was in terms of the come down after the game and like this emotional exhaustion. I think it's just going to be like right. No, we're going to be in, no. We're just going to be in the build up for the grand final, of course. But I don't True. think it's. True. I don't think it's going to be as just like disgusting as it was last week <laughs> it's too much but then leading into a grand final we'll see how we go because if it's collingwood carlton yep. there'll be no breathing no We're breathing eight quarters we'll away from a grant from a flag yeah yeah let's just let's just win just win baby and then just win baby yeah amazing all right well thanks for joining this has been no great I hope you feel a little bit better after that. Less emotional I mean, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm fine though. Like I'm just. Like, yeah. It's fine. Like I'm not like doing something that's. Um, it's too hard. I'm just hungover as all fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, literally hungover. Okay, understood. <laughs> yeah. All right, Steffi. Peace all out. All right. Good to chat to you. Love you. Bye. Bye.